If you suffer with a lot of gas and bloating, here are my seven tips for bloating that you will love. Okay, number one, you wanna limit the grains in your diet. So things like wheat, barley, rye, and oats, things that contain gluten, and especially genetically modified grains are very difficult for our human digestive tracts to deal with, and this can really cause a lot of gas and bloating. Tip number two is to stop snacking. You've gotta give little breaks in your day, not having food in your system, because we have something called a migrating motor complex and what that does is it helps to clean up our gut and move things through the digestive tract. When we're eating constantly and spiking our blood glucose levels, that migrating motor complex can't do its job to do its cleanup mechanism and that can really cause a lot of gas and bloating because now that food is sitting in the digestive tract for far too long. And tip number three, eat in a relaxed setting and do your best to eat outside. So under natural sunlight, this is going to do a lot to help with your proper digestion and it's really going to go a long way to help with that bloating. Okay, tip number four is to make sure you've got enough probiotics. So these are the healthy flora, that gut flora in your gut, part of that healthy microbiome. You may need to take a good quality probiotic, but also being outside in nature is a great way to make sure that your microbiome is healthy by inhaling all of those natural organisms that are in that natural environment. And tip number five is to improve your digestive enzymes. Enzymes. So that means, yes, eating in that relaxed setting, but you also may need to supplement with a good, high-quality, plant-based digestive enzyme. And this will help to break down your food, so your macronutrients, your carbs, your fats, and your proteins, but also some of those hard-to-digest grains. So things like the gluten, you can really help that digestion with those digestive enzymes. Okay, tip number six for bloating is to limit your alcohol consumption. So unfortunately, too much alcohol is going to wipe out a lot of that good flora in that microbiome biome and can really let some of those bad ones propagate and multiply. And this is not a great situation, especially if you've got parasites or candida in the gut. So you want to limit your alcohol consumption. Overdoing it, of course, is never a good thing. And tip number seven is to consider some herbal medicines to help to kill off, whether it's the candida, those less favorable organisms, the parasites and their eggs. Some of my favorites are oregano, which I love using the whole plant. So not just the oil, which can be a little bit hard on the liver, the whole oregano plant can be taken and this is in combination with things like cloves and black walnut sweet annie great herbal medicine combinations that really help to kill off the unwanted organisms those parasites and their eggs but more importantly to allow for the good ones to propagate of course with getting enough of those probiotics into your system as well now for more tips on how to do a parasite cleanse please check out my video nine tips to get rid of parasites and candida i'll see you there